ladies and gentlemen, I see here today we have mixed audience, government representatives and business, and it's perfect for raising two questions I have that are part rhetorical and in part I will try to make my, make my fair efforts to address, no matter that I'm ex-basketball player, so I will speak <laughs> as a politician. The first one is uh, if we might make up one industry that uh, we can start talking about developing without the lack of working force being raised as an issue or discussion in our region. That's the first question. And the second one is how we can maintain growth and sustainability in smaller, fragile economies for Western Balkans. So, as I was actually thinking about the subtopic of this panel, investing for inclusive and sustainable growth, my mind got scattered to as many possibilities and opportunities there are, but none of those were possible without people. People that share the same belief and optimism of getting over this crisis and inclusiveness and justness. To address the topic of this panel, how we should develop towards sustainable growth, it must be towards gaining back the trust that hard work pays off, responsibility is rewarded, and anyone could make it if they tried. No matter who you, are, who you were, no matter where you came from, no matter how you started. And it must be actually right away. Moreover, we in Balkans have in our DNA to work hard and contribute not only for ourselves and our families, but as well for the entire humanity through different personalities, novelists, such as Mother Teresa, Nikola Tesla, Ferit Murati, and others. Faster steps towards reaching the stage of doing business based on fair play. A fair shot and fair share will require all of us to see that we have a stake in each other's success. And it will require that we will take responsibility and that will obtain sustainability. For this, we need to join the forces of the powerful, as we call it, triple helix, government, business, and people. Both our countries, North Macedonia and Kosovo, are similar in many ways. And now I believe we should be fighting for our people and the open debate about what businesses and government are doing for them, and not just as political rhetoric. The debate between the three parties should be of the best way to restore trust, restore growth, to restore prosperity and fairness. And the bottom line that will perpetuate us all forward and upward, restore as we call it, solidarity. And yeah, how we got reminded of solidarity in the hard way for the past three years. Thus, as I say, social democratic governments need to restore the middle class. We need to restore the belief in the intrinsic value and integ integrity of workers. This is defining issues of our time. This is a make or break moment for the middle class and the developing force for our sustainable growth. And both our social democratic governments should take the pledge in doing so. The key towards developing the middle class and in the same time the labor market is bridging the gap between the old and new qualification that the labor market is hungry for. Both our countries are coming of, out of a system that was not really supportive to requalification on fast-paced change as we have now. So we need to work together, government and business, into building people. We should be giving people the chance to get new skills and training so that they can learn to make semiconductors and high-powered batteries deal with megatronics or even work with AI, artificial intelligence. We should invest time and money 
into developing their potential by giving them resources, time, and the opportunity to do so. This cannot be done by governments alone. This has to be a joint effort because it is of joint interest and, if you ask me, of joint importance and value. The workforce is a bloodstream of the economy and you cannot grow if you cut your lifeblood. And that is the skill and experience that the workforce delivers. So let's build on that. And the second topic that I raised in the beginning was about how we can maintain growth and sustainability in small and fra fragile economies of Western Balkans. I think for, first and foremost, we need a change in the strategy of game that we are playing. The shift from dependencies of each other on different resources towards creating strong bonds of interdependencies. This new approach will create higher growth, more innovation, and a stable region. Therefore, this will bring us to another stadium of economic development since we will not compete between us in every industry or sector, but it will drive us to work together and be more competitive as a region as a whole. Based on the global shifts in the new economic era, the fastest way that we can jointly work and bring value for our countries is through creating joint platform for attracting FDIs with similar packages for support and bring the whole value chain from the Far East to our region. And instead of competing among us, who will get the investor less change our approach, we seek for value chain as a whole to bring here and not only one single company that will employ 1,000 employees. So near shoring is an eminent thing to be done and to happen now. Ladies and gentlemen, the key towards sustainability and growth of our economies is through building trust. First, of our citizens in the government and businesses, and the second is building trust between our countries. We go up or we go down, but we go together. That is why we should work together for an economy where both businesses and workers can and should win. Thank you.